Right, lads, I'm going to take you through my full leg workout, the first leg workout that I do of the week in episode two of this training series where I'm going over my full training split, going over reps, sets, everything in between to get big, juicy, functional, aesthetic legs. Let's go. Plan of attack is we're going to train these wheels. As you can see, I've got a lot of atrophy on this leg, so like they look fairly even. But this leg's probably like skinny, skeletal looking leg. But because it's swollen, it probably like makes it look even. But um, due to surgeries and other things, I'm just really trying to build everything back up. This workout isn't just for crippled people. The main thing is we want it to be time efficient, we want it to be effective, and we want it to be fun. Like I'm all about efficiency, speed, and getting the most out of the time that are in the gym. Like I don't want to be spending like two hours here, so we're gonna fly through it. Pre-workout of choice today is we're gonna have the erect watermelon edition, meant to be very tasty. If you want a solid pre-workout that's gonna blow your face off in a good way. Oh. Right, so a massive one for me is obviously the knee mobility. Um, this is why I really like squats, to try and improve that mobility in my knee and just like work at actually getting good depth. We do wear squat shoes. Do not train in like runners. Like just never do squats and runners. Either go like flats, like bands, converse. Um, or if you do want that heel elevation to help you with that depth, invest in some shoes, such as some Adidas ones, or actually like put some plates below your heels, but it's my fucking jam. So the plan on this one, is this is gonna be my first working set. I'm just making sure that I'm either lifting more than the week before, lifting more weight or doing the extra rep. Two sets from this. First set is gonna be about six to eight reps. Second set is also gonna be about six to eight reps. So I really wanna build up my strength on squat. Um, typically we start the workout with like, on all of my workouts, heavier compound based stuff where we're actually really trained to get stronger. So I have two leg days. This leg day has more of a target on your posterior glutes and hammies. Obviously you want to put more of an emphasis on that. Second exercise is lying leg curl, just to kind of create a bit of a bias for those hamstrings. Something I learned relatively recently on these is that your foot position, so whether your toes are in, out, is gonna hit a different head of that hamstring. Don't overthink it, but just make sure your feet are relatively equal rather than doing it like that. Just so you're hitting a, hitting a similar, hit similar head. Most Samuel's ASMR leg workout breathing exercise video. <laughs> Last one, keep your hips down. Quality, not quantity today, lads. If you want to reduce your time, reduce the amount of volume that you're doing, you have to make up for it in other areas. So we're just really, really making sure the quality of the reps are banging, the intensity is banging, and fucking smashing it, lads. You get out what you put at the end of the day. Next up, we're going to hit leg press, two sets again. Um, eight to 12-ish reps, and like 10 to 15, somewhere in that range. Trying to go as deep as possible, but obviously we don't want this rounding to the spine. But it's not the end of the world. As long as you're not putting your back in like a compromising position, we're all good. <laughs> Fuck one rep maxes. This is the real test of strength, right? You can pick up two 20 plates and make it look like casual, even though it's heavy as fuck, you're like Arr! That's a, a true Sigma male move. I feel like you know you've done a set on the leg press where like, <laughs> you know you, <laughs> you, know you fucking smash a chick and she has like some like reeling orgasm and she's like, Aah! and her fucking like legs are like locked out. That's how you know you've done a good set on a leg press. Fuck me, I'm like shaking. The way I think of it as well is it's like, regarding training and with intensity and like purpose, but the kind of my mentality with it at the moment, like despite having surgery and other things and going in next month for surgery is like, every session is like a countdown to it. You don't know how many you're gonna have. Regardless if you've got something going on or not, like every session is always like, it's ticking down towards something, whether it's like a holiday, whether it's surgery. So it's like, everyone counts. Right boys, last time we got leg, leg rest, <laughs> leg extension. So on these, it's important to actually set it up right before you do it. It's like really easy to screw this up majorly. The, the crook of your knee is on here, obviously. And then you want your back flat against the pad. And then you want it sitting above the ankles here. But yeah, the main thing on these is when you go for a rep, at the top of the rep, there's two things you want to focus on. So first thing, in order to like properly activate your quads, is you want to drive your knees down, like you're pushing them into the ground. And then as you do that, 
flex your toes up towards your shins. So top of the rep, I'm gonna go up, pause for a second, drive knees down, toes flexed up. And then now watch when I like, I bring my toes up and flex my knees and look at the, I get a proper, that fully shortened, so look. Fine leg exercise, boys, gonna be two sets on calves. Ain't nobody got time for training calves properly for a long duration. The main workout is done. Now we're gonna do a 15 minute Metcom, which is basically a combination of hypertrophy and conditioning type stuff. So I'm still doing like list low intensity cardio, but obviously you wanna cut, we wanna stay in shape, we wanna stay functional, we wanna be able to run 5Ks. This is a really good way to train if you wanna stay functionally fit, train that like top end of cardiovascular endurance and actually, actually burn some calories as well. What we're gonna do today is a AMRAP 10. We're gonna row 120 meters. We're gonna do 12 to 15 crunches, then 12 to 15 lunges. That's gonna be one round. We're gonna do that as quickly as possible. And we're gonna do as many rounds as we can in 10 minutes. It is absolutely disgusting. It is horrible. But the benefit to this over something like this is number one, it's quicker. Number two, you're gonna get that afterburn effect after you've done the workout, prolonged calorie burning versus something like this. Also, we're increasing the volume on legs a little bit as well, doing the walking lunges. I love doing this in the gym when there's loads of people around. People are like low-key watching me remove the leg support. They're like, what is that? And I take it off. And there's another one underneath and they're like, what? So yeah, this actually cuts off the blood flow. Right, there is no meters on this rowing machine for some reason. So we're gonna do a 12 second all out row instead. Feeling pretty ruined, but the good thing about these is it's like afterwards you get that mental endorphins rush and it's just a different sort of cardio man. Right people, that was my first leg workout of the week. So as I said, that's like a typically heavier, harder one with a lot more compounds in. But anyway lads, if you enjoyed it, um, if you want more of these regarding training and my split and other things, if you like them, drop a comment, drop a like, and I will make more stuff like this. And uh, catch you in the next one, boys. If you want to grab any half natty supplements, nutty pre-workouts, your himbine, all the good stuff, um, huge supplements, code MO to get 10% off, gives me commission as well, it's absolutely rad. So. Uh, yeah, boys, see you in the next one.